President Biden is trying to ban gas-powered cars. I'm sure you've probably heard that or some version of that recently. And the fact is, it's sort of true, but how it happens and when it ultimately happens is a very different story. Now, before I tell you all about some new rules, I want to thank my subscribers for voting for this story as the bonus this week. And if you want to vote too, make sure you subscribe to my page during my next live event, or you can follow these steps and you can subscribe right now. Okay, so let's talk about what's happening. Just recently, the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, issued its final rules for emission standards for light duty and medium duty vehicles. I want to be very clear, this rule does not say that no new gas powered cars can be sold in the US ever. That's not what this is. But it is true, these new rules are the strictest ever for tailpipe emissions, even though the Biden administration also handed the auto industry a significant concession by giving them more time to comply with all of this. So these new rules will apply to, as I said, light duty vehicles. So your cars, SUVs, and most pickup trucks for model years 2027 through 2032. These rules govern how much carbon emissions and pollutants that cause smog and lead to respiratory illnesses new vehicles can emit. Each model year has a target range for those emissions, which means in order to reach those targets, a certain percentage of car sales would need to be electric or hybrid vehicles. So in this final rule, the EPA says the auto industry could meet these new tailpipe emission standards if they make EVs account for 67% of new car sales by 2032, or if they make EVs 56% of new vehicle sales by 2032, along with at least 13% for plug-in hybrids or other partially electric cars, and with more efficient gas-powered cars that get more miles to the gallon. Now, in the real world, that is a significant jump in electric vehicle sales, which as of 2023 only accounted for like 7.5% of all autos sales. And as a concession to the auto industry and the unions, the Biden administration backed off their more aggressive initial plans to hit higher emission targets right off the bat. Instead, automakers under this final rule will not need to dramatically boost their EV sales until after 2030. The other concession the Biden administration made was allowing plug-in hybrids to count towards the target emission goals. But why is this happening? Well, since 1971, Congress has directed the EPA to create emission standards under the Clean Air Act of 1963. And under the Biden administration's direction, this is the new standard they came up with. The EPA says if this rule is implemented, we will see benefits to our climate, to our health, and to our wallets. The EPA says this new emission standard would prevent more than 7 billion metric tons of carbon emissions from entering our atmosphere, would prevent thousands of premature deaths from air pollution, and would save Americans about $99 billion in fuel costs and annual car repair costs through 2055. Obviously, when this new rule becomes final, we are going to see lots of legal challenges from certain states, the fossil fuel industry, and maybe even some car dealerships. However, I will note, most car companies already have their own independent plans to become carbon neutral and produce mostly or only electric vehicles in the next 5 to 15 years. 